Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Liliana and I made videos of Accutane. <laughs> Um, I have, I've been trying to branch out a little bit more on my videos, but mostly what you guys probably know me for are my Accutane videos. I filmed those videos about a little more than a year ago now. I updated monthly on my Accutane journey and each month I would tell you guys like the side effects, everything I was feeling, and I just wanted to help other people because I know I seek to YouTube to find help and to find advice on what people go through it with Accutane because honestly it can be really really scary trying to decide to go on Accutane. Obviously I am no dermatologist so whatever you guys have to ask like you should definitely ask your dermatologist first. I'm just there to I don't know give advice I guess. I know I did help a lot of you guys. I would always get messages from you guys on Instagram saying like thank you so much for helping me. Your journey inspired me or a bunch of different things which honestly made me feel so good and I'm so happy and I still get DMs sometimes asking questions like any tips, any advice, I'm about to go on Accutane, I want to know what products I should use. So even though that was my Accutane journey was a little bit ago now, I wanted to make a video just to show you guys like the products that I use that were my favorite. And yeah, just to have it all in one video. That way you guys aren't like searching through my page and it just make it easier for you guys. So like I mentioned, I'm trying to branch out in the videos. So if you guys want to see other videos of me, let me know. If not, I can really try to stick to Accutane videos. I just run out of content of what I can create for that because it's so specific. But yeah, let me know. If you guys do have any questions, like I said, I'm no dermatologist, but if there's anything I can help you guys on, then my Instagram is Liliana Madrigal underscore. Feel free to message me and I will try my best to respond and help you guys out in the best way that I can. I don't always have the clearest answers because everybody's different, but I will really try my best. Okay, so like I mentioned today, I just want to talk to you guys about my favorite products that really helped me while I was on Accutane. They're just a few, but really I think are so important and just a few tips and things that I learned of being on Accutane. So the first thing with Accutane is you're just gonna get dry everywhere. Like every single part of your body will be dry. It dries you out. It has no mercy for you. I remember like my arms would get all like scaly and I was very just dry. <laughs> what a lot of people recommend, I know this is not like some secret, like everybody really recommends Aquaphor. But for my body, I would just, it's really, really oily. Like it's like Vaseline almost, so it was not the most comfortable feeling. But I would just lather on this Aquaphor Healing Ointment Advanced Therapy. I would put it on the dryness of my skins and it was usually on my arms and my hands. So I would leave this on at night and just like really, really, really just let that sink into my skin. Just give it as much help as you can because it gets so dry, it's crazy. So the next thing that got super, super dried out for me were my lips. So again, I used Aquaphor uh, for my lips. It, just, it comes in this little tube. I think I... I don't know where I got these from. You can get these anywhere, but I think my boyfriend had ordered me a whole pack on like eBay for a really good deal. So definitely check those out because you're going to be using a lot of these. Literally, I carried this around with me like everywhere. I would just, just constantly put this on. My lips were so dry that I couldn't bite into an apple because the size of my mouth would crack. And I'm not trying to like scare anybody. I'm just trying to be realistic because it's very uncomfortable and you just need to be prepared for the feeling. Like, you can get through it, it's just really uncomfortable. So be prepared to be dry and be prepared to lather things on. A tip that comes along with using this advanced therapy like tub is that your nose will dry out a lot as well and you'll have a lot of nosebleeds. I think I had my first nosebleed like a couple, me uh, a couple months in and I told my dermatologist about it and she had recommended to me to at night get a q-tip and just like dip it in here and then rub it in my nose and that helped so so much so a huge tip and i'm so thankful she told me is to get a q-tip and put it in your nose to prevent nosebleeds because they're so uncomfortable like i would just be sitting there and then randomly get a nosebleed so 
Okay, along with moisturizing, your face gets obviously super, super dry. And for people that wear makeup, I know it's just you're really in an uncomfortable transitional phase of your skin because you want to wear makeup because you, you still feel insecure about your skin, your skin's breaking out. But also if you put makeup on, your, your face is still super dry so like your makeup doesn't go on as smoothly. And I remember I was watching someone's video and she recommended the Clinique like line of moisture shirt moisture surge this one is the clinique moisture surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator i'll put the link in my description it's honestly really pricey but to me it's so so worth it and even after accutane like i just went back and i got another one because it makes my skin feel so naturally moisturized it doesn't feel heavy on my skin like i put it in and i rub it in and my skin just feels like so hydrated i think there's like two other products in this line that I also had, it was like a hydrating mask that I would leave on overnight and another like type of moisturizer, but I definitely recommend looking into this line. I forgot to mention this, but enjoy this little commercial break of me taking my birth control that I was put on a few months before starting Accutane or I think like a month before and yeah, I'm still on it. So this is me taking it. So obviously on Accutane, you're gonna want a good skin cleanser, one that's not too harsh on your skin. So they recommended the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser to me, which I still use this one. Um, I think just after my skin finally calmed down, like I really realized I don't need to be too harsh on my skin with what I'm using to wash it because I do wash my face twice a day. Okay, so the next things aren't really products, but just like a few tips if in case you didn't know. So first thing is always take your Accutane pill with a fatty meal like they'd say take it with the fattiest meal of your day so usually around lunchtime um, my dermatologist recommended to me to take it with after eating a peanut butter sandwich or a lot of people do after eating like avocado because it's super fatty so always make sure you do that just just so your body takes it in properly and just remember you're always going to want to be helping your body out as much as you can because you're going through like a really really rough time you're not going to be feeling the best so really help it out in any way and that is one way that you can Drink so, so, so much water. Like, I'm not kidding. You will dry out so much. You will be a little walking raisin. Like, <laughs> always drink your water. Another tip is I was on Accutane during the summer, which was really hard because I live in California and it gets really hot. That was rough. Try your best to stay out of the sun as much as you can. One time I was outside for a couple of hours and... I don't know what happened but I got super nauseous towards the end of the day and like I was throwing up I think I don't know I got really dehydrated or something I didn't feel dehydrated I can almost like guarantee it was probably because I was on Accutane and I was on outside for most of the day another thing is my scalp got super super dry which was like a pro and a con because my skin gets really oily normally like it takes two days for me to have to be like oh gotta wash my hair but while I was on Accutane, I did not have to wash my hair very often, which was honestly really nice. But looking back, I probably should have done some type of natural like hair mask or like hair, like a scalp mask. I don't know if that's a thing, but something to hydrate your scalp because I would scratch my head and like <laughs> it would start snowing, if you know what I mean. Like literally like dust would fall from my head. So make sure... If there's any way you can to hydrate your scalp, I would definitely recommend doing that. So, one thing that I don't really talk about much, but it really stuck with me. It was a side effect that really stuck with me throughout Accutane. It really hurt to use the restroom to go number two. Okay, it really hurt. It hurt a lot, I would dry out, I was I was dry everywhere and it hurt and that side effect stuck with me. Like it's been it, it's been a couple months that it hasn't hurt to go poop. So almost a year later it was still hurting, which is honestly super uncomfortable. I tried talking to my dermatologist about it, but I don't think I really went about it the right way. I don't think she understood what I was saying. I felt really uncomfortable to tell her I was in pain when I pooped, but I should have just been straightforward with it. So I don't know. Just expect to be dry everywhere. That's all for this little short video. For those of you that are looking into starting Accutane, I wish you guys the best of luck. And I know you're probably not in the best place right now with your skin because obviously Accutane is the last resort. And 
you wouldn't be here unless you like really 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 needed help for your skin and just know that I've been there and a lot of people have been there. You're not alone and it's going to be okay. As cheesy as it is and as hard as it is to believe, you are beautiful no matter what. Like, really what matters is who you are on the inside. So, I don't know. Just try to remember that and try to hold on to that. For people that are going through Accutane right now, also I know that's really hard. But you are going to make it and it's going to be okay. And everything is going to feel better. Soon you're going to look back and you're going to be like, oh my god, my skin is so clear. And I'm so happy. As hard as Accutane was for me, I don't regret going on it. I had a good support system. But just remember to always communicate with people and to tell people how you're feeling. And really just have somebody that you know you can lean on. Because I think that is what really helped me to get through all of that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can always DM me. Like I said, my Instagram is Liliana Madrigal underscore or even you can comment it I usually am able to check up on all the comments and I hope you guys are all doing well during this crazy time in this world wishing you guys the best sending you so much positivity and so much light and I'm here for you guys and yeah I never really know how to end these videos but I hope this was helpful <laughs>